Algebra 2, 9.1a, Symmetry with respect to a line. We don't have any previous videos for Chapter 9 yet. This is the first one. And in this chapter, we're going to consider how changes in the equation y equals the function of x affects the graph of a function it defines. Then we'll use this information to graph quadratic functions. The function of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So here's the function of x, and here's our quadratic equation, as long as a doesn't equal 0. Someone should remember that a circle is symmetric about any line containing that center point of the circle. So we can fold it along this line. We could draw a line this way and fold it that way. It's still going to be symmetrical. We could draw hundreds of lines, and it wouldn't matter. It would be symmetrical in either way because it's a circle. There's many examples of line symmetry found in nature. A butterfly is symmetrical. A ladybug, sorry that it's not red, it's got, I've got a black and white printer. A maple leaf is symmetrical. And even this little heart that I always use in my symmetry vi videos, I use this for the grade school symmetry videos, when you fold it in half, it's a perfect half, isn't it? The idea of line symmetry can be described precisely in mathematical language. So I have a definition for you for symmetry. Two points, P and P sub 1, are symmetric with respect to a line L when they are the same distance from L measured along a perpendicular to L. So what that means is, here's L, and P is right here, and P sub 1 is right here, and they're both 2 inches from this line, L. So, see how they're both the same distance? They're symmetric with respect to line L because they're the same distance from L and they're measured along a perpendicular. See? Because this would make a right angle here, wouldn't it? Right there? Well, we have four right angles, don't we? And line L is known as a line or axis of symmetry. And P sub 1, this pink one right here, is said to be the image of P down here. A figure or set of points is symmetric with respect to a line when the image of each point in the set is also in the set. So, P sub 1 and P are the same distance from L. And it's perpendicular to L, isn't it? Okay? Let's take a look at this. Two points symmetric with respect to a line are called reflections of each other across the line. The line is known as a line of symmetry. And this figure is symmetric with respect to line L. We've got a vertical line L. We've got Q and Q sub 1, and we've got P and P sub 1. And this Q and Q sub 1 and P and P sub 1 would swap places if we flipped this image completely over. These are pairs of symmetric points, and the image would still look the same if we flipped it over. If I drew so dark with my marker that it bled through to the other side, we could just flip this picture over and it'd still be identical, wouldn't it? This one is symmetric with respect to this horizontal line. This curve is symmetric with the respect to this vertical line. But this one's not symmetric with respect to a line at all, neither vertically nor horizontally. If we flipped it over, it wouldn't be the same image. This piece would be down here. It wouldn't be up there, right? If we look at the letters of the alphabet, we can see which letters are symmetric with respect to a vertical line. See? And these are symmetric with respect to a horizontal line, aren't they? The B, C, D, E, even the K. Depending on how we write the K, if we write the K perfectly, we could say that it's symmetric to a horizontal line, couldn't we? Okay, so our next video, we're going to get into this more with the X and Y axis. I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist. We talked about this back in 12.4, back in Algebra 1. And we're touching on it a little deeper now, but if you want to go back to the real beginning, the intro of all this, there'll be a link for that. And we finished with Chapter 8. We're on Chapter 9 now, so there's not going to be any video links for Chapter 9, right? Okay, so let's see how these relate to the X and Y axis. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.